Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome to D Smith. Let's discuss. Welcome to the channel. We're gonna get straight into it. So a few days ago on the Joe Button podcast. So let me say this first, man. If you want to listen to a podcast that have deep, meaningful conversation, go check out the Joe Button podcast. They're not messy. They're not trying to gaslight. They can be on some. They can be on some BS. But listen to them. They had a real good conversation. And on this particular episode, Joe stated allegedly Drake and Kendrick Lamar had a conversation about their beef. Kendrick, don't get messy. What we doing? Drake, I'm going to keep it. All, all I'm going to do is just sing. Then the BS starting to come, right? Then K. Dot drop, not like us. Let's listen to the conversation. Let's discuss. Drop a comment. Let's go. He also heard that Drake and, and Kendrick had a talk before any diss record was released. I don't know if that's true or not. But I heard they spoke. I can see it. Did you hear how the... Oh. How the conversation went? Yeah, it went like the Teddy Pendergrass part of the <laughs> of the shit. <laughs> hey, how do you want this to go? You want what are we doing? Are we rapping? Okay, then let's keep it. <clears throat> and he didn't keep it up. So <laughs> that must be interesting. If they had a conversation, well, whatever was said, right? I don't keep it. But for one of them, I'm going to say, oh boy, because he came, he started talking about Kendrick wife, girlfriend, baby mother, whatever you want to call it. He initially started it, right? So, of course, you respond by stomping on a person's head. And you keep responding, you keep responding, you keep responding until you bury that person. It's war. He told them that a bunch of times. Yeah, we, I know, that's why it's, it's not, a, not yeah, even yeah, like yeah, real tea. Yeah, he told them that a bunch of times. It's only tea because to say it to him on the phone, like, I know what that's like. Like as when you about to fucking tear nigga, let me call him and make sure first. <laughs> hey man, you want we doing this for real? You that ass? Oh my god. Yo, you know I'm a Alright. This has been the brightest spot of the year for me, all of this kerfuffling. I like it. I do. Because everybody really hates each other. Oh, like OD. Everybody hates each other. And if you're not getting that right now, then you're missing out on day. So all the rappers really hate each other. All the rappers really hate each other. That, that's how I take it. The fake friendship. So is Oh Boy and 21 Savage real friends? Of our lives, all my children, General Hospital, the best of the soap operas. Mm -hmm. See, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the thing is, I really don't think that there's animosity between Wayne. Because I, I, I'm still cool. on the assassin that is Kendrick. What a year. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm on that. What a fucking clinic. In battling too, Jesus. Oh my God, yo! They put up the screenshot with just the last four tweets. Yeah, being the three diss tracks and a Super, Super Bowl, Bowl announcement. Even the announcement. Come on. Then he dropped a song on 911, man. What's the next major holiday, man? That got some significance to it. Cause whatever, whatever it is, I feel Kendrick might drop on it. And Even what he said in the announcement, mm -hmm. he still talk, like yo. That's why I love Kendrick. I told, I told y'all, <laughs> I told y'all why, why, what benefit is it to him to hit around to? Absolutely Fact. none. Fact. Said, why would Kendrick be wanting to jump back in the the fray? Fact. <laughs> yo, shit is fucked up when you gotta use fray. <laughs> fray. <laughs> Come on, yeah. man. And back to that announcement. Where's the original for the announcement? Cause this nigga is cynical. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this guy. Man. Oh, you taking the All this shit. stuff you heard about America not wanting to fight, wanting to stay out of the war. Is he a madman? He's a lot of horse yes. stuff. Yes. Americans. 
traditionally love to fight. <laughs> All real Americans. America was literally born for this shit. It was literally born. America existed because of fighting man. So Americans love this shit. Love the sting of battle. When you were kids. And this is the general dude standing in front of the big flag. This is what Kendrick the reenacted. From Patton. Model shoot, movie Patton. Fastest runner. Big league ball players. The toughest boxer. Americans love a winner. And will not tolerate a loser. Americans play to win all the time. I wouldn't give a hoot in hell for a man who lost and laughed. That's why Americans have never lost and will never lose a war. Oh, still Canadian American. <laughs> yes. <Got it. laughs> I never I didn't even hear that shit, like, what is yeah, He's sick in the head yeah. and needs a lot of help. Yeah, he needs the nigga home is home. he already conceded crazy. though, man. Like why you keep Kendrick is crazy, son? Who Every, conceded? I, I feel Drake did. He's no, he didn't. no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Well, he did, but he won't run it back. Unconceded. Yeah. When he unconceded? He said he won't run it back. Yeah. Yeah. He said game two is going to go whatever the fuck that was. Did he write that or his man wrote that? <laughs> he wrote that shit. He yeah. that. Does Drake watch the Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> is Drake going to watch the Super Bowl? Because according to reports, Allegedly, he has been sending cease and desist letters to uh, the NFL, Kendrick Lamar. You cannot perform not like us. The whole world. Watching Kendrick play that song, rap those lyrics. Ah. He better send a hundred. He better drop a hundred gigabytes of cease and desist letters before the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, stop it. Probably not this year. Yo, I'm this. just trying to picture February. All of us is going to be in a packed living room somewhere. Fast. We're not going to be alone. <laughs> the food. We we so you're going to be with your friends when Kendrick Lamar performed that song. Can you just imagine everybody filming it? Social media blowing up. That particular night, the score of the Super Bowl and Kendrick Lamar performing that song. Gonna be ep epic. We, gonna gonna, be, it's gonna be girls there that don't even know nothing about football. They're gonna be there in 3D, nigga. Nigga, some of us ah. gonna be watching on, we got big screens, yeah. Yeah. big couches. Big couches. Yeah. 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 Like, picture the scene. Yeah. You gonna hang the coats up, it's gonna be a little cold. They gonna Where's Drake gonna be at February 9th? Where is he gonna be at, man? Hey, yeah, yeah, you hang coats up. Hoes gonna get cold. Some niggas just gonna throw the coat over your shit. That'll disrespect your head. It's, yeah. it's in the guest room, it's, it's yeah. in the pile Somebody, in the bed. He you know where it is. Yeah. 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 Somebody, little cousin, gonna go back there, steal from one of your guests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna uh, stop right there. They, they're not talking about uh, nothing. But yeah, so do you believe Kendrick Lamar? And oh boy, had a conversation about the beef. If you do, let me know. Drop a comment. Let's discuss somebody.